Hello, good morning folks, this is the Headbanging Zulu here, better known as Steve. Um, this could be quite a long video because I've got a lot of stuff to show you. But first, a disclaimer. If you hear any strange noises, we are having a strong windstorm in the UK. Apparently it was 70 miles an hour last night. And you may hear them in the background, it's wind whistling around the block. I live in an apartment or a flat if you're in the UK, apartment if you're in America. And I'm like four stories high. I'm a lot high, about twice the height of a house. And uh, also the lights being fluctuating like mad. Uh, I tried to do this an hour ago. Uh, forget it. The light just went in and out, in and out. And it, it sort of messed up the video. But uh, what I've decided to do is carry on and persevere. And uh, see what happens. This should be alright for up half an hour or so. Because um, this is how long it will probably take me to show you this lot. There's quite a lot of stuff to show. I'm off away tomorrow, and I don't know if I'll be back before Christmas or after Christmas. I might be back at the end of the week, or I might be back after Christmas. Christmas, Who knows? Uh, it's a surprise. But uh, So without further ado, I better do what I'm here for, is to show some music. And uh, Metal Mickey, God bless him, we've been doing some um, business, and um, got a few CDs off him. I've uh, got a lot of CDs off him, actually and um also got a few cds i bought myself me and ebay and and uh, music magpie have been really really good friends it's getting too much i'm getting an addict i'm always on the computer late at night looking to see what there is and there's so much bargains like two or three quid cds on there and uh, i'm just clicking buy it you know i've got to stop doing it but i've had some really good stuff and um also i've got a few other bits as well on a show so let's, uh, without further ado, um, I have a feeling I've got these, but I have a feeling I might not. But anything with Deep Purple, if, you, if you've been following this channel, is going in my collection. These are the anniversary um, boxes, I think the 30th anniversary, or 20th, well it'll be 30th anniversary, I can't see it. But I may or may not have these. One's for Machine Head, and uh, one's for Fireball and um that's it there that's uh deep purple mark two but i may have these i may not have but uh, i definitely bought these you can't have enough deep purple in the collection hey eh, greg that's my motto um you know just phenomenal band uh even if i have got them i, I always need spares but yeah this is one of my top five favorite bands but just amazing stuff you got the normal record you get a load of it's all remastered some of it as well and you get a, probably some bonus tracks and you get some i'm not going to pull them out but booklets and stuff in there usually written in sort of uh writing i can't read anymore but the thought that it's a thought that counts they, they put some writing in there but yeah great the next one is a canadian band by the name of anvil uh got that one a swell off uh, mick don't know much about this band i've got a couple of their records i should give it a spin um it's not forged on fire i think this was was their seminal album um i'm pretty sure it was uh this is their best album scott correct me if i'm wrong and greg forget uh correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure this was a seminal album i don't know which one it was this was the biggie but i can't wait to give that a spin i should be doing it in about what well, as soon as this video is is sorted another babylon ad i've had a vinyl off um mick as well this is a cd um i haven't done really much about that band a lot of blind buys today um another thing if you know my channel i don't like to buy stuff i've got or stuff i know to me it gets really really boring it's like how many iron maiden cds do you need in life I'm one of these collectors, I like to, I love to collect music, I don't know. Um, if I see a CD I've never heard of, it's mine. And so, you know, sometimes you get some really, really good stuff. It doesn't bother me, they're no good, you just trade them on. But that's how I like to collect. This is uh, Jack Russell, um, I presume off a great white Jack Russell. And uh, he's got a really good voice, amazing. And it's sort of accentuating his blue eyes. I don't know why I've done that, but I suppose there's a reason now this record uh, i've seen it on the vc and i was looking out for it i couldn't believe when metal mickey was selling that everybody's spoken highly of it 
I've basically never heard of it. Looks a bit like, uh, judging by some of these titles like Valhalla, it looks like Viking music, or what they call now folk metal, I think it's called. Oh, I'm so confused. But I can't wait to give that a spin. And, um, yeah. And the two rare ones which shocked me. Phantom Blue, uh, I believe they're an all-girl heavy metal band from Los Angeles. Have been listening to this record. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. Been listening to it on YouTube. I haven't actually used my stereo a lot this week. I've been doing all my listening via the tube. Um, but this is one of the bands um, I've been listening to. Uh, the one's coming up in a minute. But this is a band called Phantom Blue. This girl, lady in here has got a phenomenally good voice. And it's good, good sort of like female metal. And it's strange. I'm not being sexist. Uh, but when I was younger, I would never, ever, ever have entertained female metal. Uh, I remember it in the early 80s, and it really, it just got, it took a while for it to be taken seriously, if you know what I mean. I mean, I think it's great now in the world we live in, uh, where we're, we're all sort of more equal. But when I grew up in the 70s and 80s, there was a lot of injustice. I'm not going to go well on it, but it's fair to say the female metal took a bit of time. But this is a, massive, a really good example of it. And if you haven't checked out female metal, check it out. Like Doro, this sort of stuff. Girls' school, uh, runaways. Give it a go. You won't be disappointed. Uh, the last but not least, this is from Mark G with a C or C with a G. You know what I mean. Part of the world. Uh, that's Metal Mickey's um, stuff. And uh, I'm just looking around. I don't want to leave. No, it's all here now. This is the stuff I bought as well. Uh, a lot of blind buys amongst this lot, and I've been listening to this lot. Um, yeah, but let's let's, let's, get, let's carry on. I think the light's going again. I'm just having a look outside. It looks a bit funny. This is a prog um, power metal or whatever genre you want to call it. I believe they're from London. Um, I've heard the music, and it's very symphonic. Um, it sounds promising, but I bought it for the cover. Look at that, look. It's an angel, but it's not a celestial angel. It's a human angel. And she doesn't know where to go, bless her. She's either going to heaven or she's going to hell. Uh, I wish to God I could blow this up and pull it on. The, I'll frame that, I tell you. Just an absolutely amazing cover. The music, I've, I've not sort of heard much of it. But it's sort of very symphonic. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get round to listen to it and I'll give you a full report. But I just liked it, the angel. Cause normally they're very celestial, you know what I mean? You don't see stuff like that. It, just the art, cover, that art to me is a 10 out of 10. Uh, the next one was, Hammer, I've got another Hammerfall album for my collection. This one is uh, Threshold. Never heard it before. 2006 on Nuclear Blast. Comments below please how you rate it. Was it one of their best or one of their worst? Now this is a weird um, record. Uh, this is a German power metal band and um it's it's uh, mediocre to say the least and this is this band a german band called inner axis um it, it's so heavy metal when you look at it with the, the swords and stuff and that's a picture of the band behind um it the, the music's great the guitar riffing but the singer uh it'll take some getting used to um he sings a bit flat to say the least but uh, it's not a bad cd but it's not a good brilliant sort of mind-blowing one you know it's nowhere near good as deep purple uh or uh, hammerfall um it's not in that league but uh, it's not bad um if you've heard this one comments down below but i'll give it about a seven out, seven out of ten um but it's so heavy metal when you look at it it was very very cheap i think it's on the fastball label I'm sorry, but I can't tell you the date because I can't. I think it's no, is it 2000? I can't even see it. I'm not even going to guess it. But this is the um, inner axis. I just took it as a blind buy. I was listening to it online, and uh, it's reasonable. I wouldn't say it's mind-blowingly good. Um, don't pay more than sort of like three or four quid for it. That's my advice. You know, someone might tell me, oh, it's one of the best albums I've ever heard, but it's certainly not worth more than a fiver in anybody's money. This is another record I bought blind, because I like the cover. But I've got a feeling I might regret this. This was only a couple of quid off Music Magpie. 
and this I think it's too new metal for my taste high on fire snakes for the divine um, if you know this band please tell me in the comments some of the tracks were really really good some of them are not the style of metal I like um, but I think it's about I can't even see the date and this one's um, I, I know it's not that that old but it's probably because of a couple of a couple of quid because nobody liked it and uh, Steve had thought he'd buy it and give it a try if anybody's heard of it comments down below but uh, yeah it might not be any good it'd be up for trade anyway um, but I've got a feeling it will be tra trading material but the next one is some quality music now um, I'll do this one next this was a two pound CD on Rocks Fox. Look out for these. You get legendary live recordings off loads and loads of bands. And they're only two quid. I think the Alice Cooper, the DVD I showed of the week was one of these. But this is an American band out of uh, New York, I think. They were formed in 1969 and it's a band uh, called Mountain. Now, Scott's mentioned this on his channel and a few others. I just bought this um, to um, test it out, test the waters with it, if you see what I mean. It's got a lot of covers versions, like Roll Over, Beethoven and stuff like that. But I've got a feeling I'm going to like them. But it is uh, hard rock, I, I would call it. Um, it's sort of like the first wave of heavy metal. Um, but I, I'd probably describe it as hard rock. Um, if you want to call it heavy metal, please do. But... Uh, yeah i think they're still going as well but i may be wrong uh, but yeah this is an american band called mountain i'm gonna give that a good try out um just gotta be careful here i'm sort of building a tower underneath here and you know what happens to towers this is a brand new cd this is tigers of the pantang this is the um new cd it's ritual and if you buy their cds off the website um, I always support bands, as you know. I'll buy a T-shirt and I'll buy CDs. But buy them directly from their website. They will sign them for you. And Pantang, you can't fault them. It's a great band. I'll show you this one. But the last two I've had um, are actually signed. Um, let's, let's see. There it is, look. It's not fake either. Uh, there you go, look. Got signatures as well. But that's something to uh, remember in the future. I think if you, if you Google Tigers of Pantang, um, you're not paying more for them or anything like that. You're paying a good price. The only difference, you know, as a collector, I'd rather have mine signed than unsigned. But uh, careful with signings because a lot of them are fake. That's another video. But this one's genuine because I say that that's what they said. It was off their website, but a lot of this stuff you see in uh, record fairs, um, if it, unless they do it in front of my eyes, um, I don't take it as signed. I think it's uh, f it, well, I know it's fake. A lot, lot of counterfeit stuff out there. The last but not least, this was Greg the Egg put me onto this band. I've been listening to this band all week. I was incredibly lucky to pick this up. This is uh, the Res Band. Um, this is out of Chicago. They were a Christian rock band. I think they've been going since the 70s. Some killer rock on here, like Military Man. Go uh, YouTube that and you'll hear what I'm saying. But this uh, CD cost me 15. I, I forked out 15 for this. And I got a bargain. Because normally these go for 150 quid anywhere. So you, you won't find them cheap. Put it that way. I was absolutely shocked because one went for like 150. I don't know what it is at the moment. But if you buy them from America, um, they're so so expensive. Um, but this one, I think, came from Germany. God bless the Germans. That's what I say. I love Germans. Um, Jürgen, check out his channel as well. Um, lovely fella. But when it, when you buy your CDs, always always check out the German lads first. Because anything that's really collectible, they have it at a great price. And they ain't going to charge you an arm and leg for posting and packaging. It's like a pound fifty or something. I have I don't know where he comes from in Germany. But I have this regular I shop off. I've never ever had a bad CD off him yet. They come dead quick. They even come faster than our postage. It's come all the way from Germany. And uh, just amazing um, product. And the, the music's amazing as well. 
So, yeah, this is uh, Rez Band. It's got a lot of great stuff on there, Greg. Thanks very much for the introduction. I've also noticed he's got some South Africa. It's obviously they, they did a lot of music around South Africa and apartheid, could have covered all that stuff. Um, there's a lot of South African stuff in here, I've noticed. But that's that's the inside cover. Um, if you haven't, is this like Christian rock or whatever you want to call it? But check it out. Military Man, Res Band. Absolutely awesome track. And uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, amazing. But uh, there you go. I think they've had a lot of different female singers. Um, but uh, yeah, some fantastic stuff up here. Can't wait to give that a sp Well, I have been giving it a spin. But not the CD, if you know what I mean. I've been spinning it off um, YouTube. Right, that's, that's, that's the last of the CDs. Now Metal Mickey put me onto something else, and Greg will love this. This is the Rainbow Book, cost a tenner this did. Um, basically, it's uh, a book, it's got about 120, approximately, give or take, 120 pages. You've got four DVDs, and you've got rare and previously unreleased interviews with Richie Blackmore and Ronnie James Dio. Also, Don Airy, Bob Daisley, Bobby Rondell, or Dinelli, Graham Bonnet, Jolyn Turner, and Doogie White. And, uh, yeah, you got DVD 1 from 75 to 78, 78 to 81, and 81 to 97. And uh, you get this book as well. Uh, I'm not going to break the seal on this, because I'm going away tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to look for somewhere nice to put it, and I'll do an unseal and reveal on this. Uh, I'll wait till I get another plastic box. It'll keep it clean. And, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to pop it today. But that's another picture of the great man. He was e He's easily the most influential guitarist in the world. I uh, don't care what anyone says. You know, I, I, th I don't think there's anybody more influential than he was. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that's another video as well. What we up to all at 19 minutes? Uh, you're getting a lot of me today. Now I bought myself a little T-shirt. It was cheap, that's why. And um, I think they mispriced it, but I might be wrong. But I've got another Kiss T-shirt action. And uh, yeah, it's a guild, Dan. But this is a Kiss one. Looks ever so nice. And uh, is it the Destroyer one? Yeah, Destroyer, great album. Great t-shirt, paid about £12 for it, not arguing with that. And last but not least, a, uh, I was a bit emotional with this, I had something through the post from Greg, and uh, it's absolutely amazing. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a jacket, and it's my favourite band on the planet. The Rolling Stones. Uh, it's a beautiful jacket. It's got a lovely badge on the back. And it's got it all down the arms in beautiful, vi um, not vi yeah, it's vinyl. Absolutely amazing. And it's got the official badge at the front. And I have worn it, actually. And uh, it's just absolutely out of this world. I'm really made up, Greg. Thanks a lot. Uh, to me, they're the greatest rock and roll band on the planet, full stop. Um, don't set me off, Greg, on Are They Better in Deep Purple. We'll have to have a deep conversation on that one. Well, that's another conversation. But, man, I've done 20 minutes today. I can't believe that. And the lighting stayed consistent. But that's all the stuff updated. That's what I've got. Uh, but as I say, my New Year's resolution is to stay off my keyboard. <laughs> you can't see that happening. But um, I've got a few CDs coming over Christmas as well, but I can't, I'll tell you about them after Christmas. Um, but uh, I'd like to wish everybody, I, I shall probably do something before Christmas. Um, I, I, I'm going to a place where I've never been before. It's not far from Bristol. I don't, normally, when I, I used to go down to Reading, obviously being born from there, I know the place like the back of my hand. I know where all the good record stores are. I know where all the rec uh, charity shops to go, so I've been, you know, bringing the videos. But tomorrow, uh, when I go away, I'd, I've never, I've been to Bristol because um, I, I think it was called Forbidden or something, the big comic shop place. And then we used to adjourn to a public house for a couple. 
then we used to come back to Telford because uh, a friend of mine who I've lost contact with him <coughs> he was a massive massive book collector comic books so I don't know Bristol whatsoever um, I know there's a good record store in Bristol itself I know it could be still open it's been open for 30 or 40 years and I've forgotten what it, I think it's plastic wax I can't remember what it's called but uh, hopefully I could do some digging but as I say I'm going to have to check out the lie in the land maybe I could get lucky in a charity shop or something but I, I just don't know the area I just don't know what's there the show was this one uh, Scott Waters held this one up this is a band called the Fireball Ministries uh, this one record was on the Nuclear Blast. They did another one as well. And I forgot what it was called, but it was a French-sounding name. This record is a 10 out of 10. It's brilliant. Um, it's like the singer sounds like Ozzy Osbourne, uh, but the production and the girls can seriously play those guitars. It's just mind-blowingly good. I've got two copies of this because the one I bought was a promo and I didn't realise and it comes in a cardboard cover and um, it's hard to store so uh, basically I'll put it into a little thing and put it in my box up, up there it's up there somewhere so I bought this copy to play it was only fiver but uh, yeah check this band out uh, if you like Black Sabbath you'll love this um, but the, the musicianship's just out of this world. Uh, that's the track listing there. And uh, as I say, it was on the Nuclear Blast Records. Here's the um, book. It's nice and orange. And um, yeah, it's got all that in there. Got that. that that's a novelty way of showing the picture of the band. It's got that there. They look looking so What is that? It looks like a church. Um, yeah, it's just great. And uh, it's great. It looks like those uh, pencil drawings what the girls eating a steak. Um, but yeah, pencil art. But yeah, definitely, definitely worth um, checking this one out. But yeah, it's the Fireball Ministry. And the uh, music's called The Second Great Awakening. Anyway, for um, but uh, anyway folks happy Christmas it's only what three weeks I thought I'd depress you it's two weeks next Tuesday is Christmas day and uh, you know I just wish you all the best uh, love each other and uh, be kind to each other and I hope you enjoyed this large installment of the Headbang Zulu bye bye